Yes, definitely. I will be at that NDC. I'm a delegate. I will be there. Well, uh, I'm asking you this question because the chairperson of the ODM Nairobi branch, that is Makadara MP, uh, George Aladwa, has expressly said that you are not a delegate of the ODM party and you ceased, you ceased being one in 2019. What you are is just an ordinary life member of the ODM party. Did you say I ceased being one in 2019 or I ceased being one in 2021? Actually, he said there were elections that were done in December last year, that is in 2021. And in those elections, which he says were done through harmonization, you are not part of the, um, of the structure of ODM. So you're just an ordinary life member. So you're saying that in that harmonization, he is saying that I was removed. Yes, that's what well, he basically I, says. He I says you're not a delegate. I don't know of that. And as far as I'm concerned, I'm legally a delegate. I will be attending. I'm not addressing myself to Aladwa. You're not addressing yourself to Aladwa, but he's the custodian of the Nairobi branch list of ODM delegates. So he says you're not allowed anywhere. I basically says that you being a life member does not guarantee your attendance to that particular meeting. Let, let me be very clear, Kennedy. You're saying the same Aladwa said that I was a delegate from 2019 to 2021. And somehow he removed me, or they removed me in 21. A process that I know nothing about. An election I don't think Nairobi even knew about. How did they remove me? I am a legal delegate of the NDC. Let them tell me at the gate of Kasarani that I am not allowed entry. Or I'm persona non grata, but I shall be there. Well, there's the other question uh, now that you're saying that you will be there and you have. Are you ready for the consequences if they stop you at the gate? What consequences, Kennedy? Uh, I am asking arrest. for my democratic... Why should they arrest me for, for seeking my democratic rights? No, I'm prepared. I am absolutely prepared for any consequences that they wish to put on me for insisting on democracy in Kenya. Absolutely. We have seen today that the National Governing Council of the ODM, after a NEC meeting, has also gone ahead and ratified a decision of NEC that has endorsed ODM leader Raila Odinga as the sole presidential candidate for the party. This has even gone ahead with to see Kakamega Governor Wiklo Foparanya, who is a deputy party leader, and uh, Mombasa Governor Hassan Joho relinquish their, uh, their push to be president within the party. Now you're saying that you want to be there, but the NGC has not heard your name. Why are you still pushing for this within ODM? You know, the most interesting thing is that I don't even know how they got Raila Molo Odinga's name. That to me is news. What you have seen today is a complete unconstitutionality, an illegality to the constitution of ODM, a complete desegregation of democracy in the party. You cannot keep changing goalposts this way, that way, according to the whims and wishes of an individual. This is a body corporate called a party. It's been there for 16 years. You're now witnessing its demise. Its demise. And we are going to say it on the floor of Kasarani tomorrow. This is now a party in quicksand. It is fast going in that sand. You shall witness from tomorrow. What do you mean you don't even know how they got Raila's name? What do you mean by that? Did he apply with me? Did he apply with Oparanya? Did he apply with uh, Joho? What I had today was the NEB, National Elections Board, had a process from January to February where they had open applications for presidency. They closed it at the end of February on the basis that they are suspending it. When I went to visit the offices of ODM in September, they said, in fact, the party leader had also expressed interest, but they had not opened it, but they were going to open it. They were even going to come back to me within two weeks, and the NEC was going to meet to insist that NEB opens it. They have never opened it up. How did Raila Molo Odinga become a candidate? How did he become a candidate? Did he pay the one million shillings? Did he put an application? How can you say that other people's endorsement makes you a candidate? And you shut out others. I may have had also other people who may have wanted to endorse me. The process of the constitution is clear. The NDC, every five years, decides on a presidential candidate. That candidate, if there is more than one, it must be a competitive process. 